Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And today I have um, a message that came to my inbox and I have decided to use this as a teaching moment, okay? So we all know that we have two groups right now. And we have the sex talk group and then we have the wives group. Um, yesterday in the wives group, we started talking about husbands or wives that work overtime. Um, that may have a business side hustle or whatever, but we're talking about how your time is divided up. For example, um, the way my husband explained it to me now, keep in mind the, this, he explained it to me this way. You have eight hours to sleep, eight hours to work, eight hours for your family. That's 24 hours, right? Um, so with that being said, if you have a husband that works overtime, right? Overtime, that means that the eight hours that's designed for family, that overtime is cutting into that. And then what Spencer also brought to my attention was the, the, the chart says eight hours for work. This is uh, something that they taught when they when he was um when he was active, an active member of the Masons organization. That does not even count you getting up, preparing for work, driving there. So really, you you really don't have the eight hours for family. The the time for family is more like six hours because you have to take into consideration that you had to get ready for work, you had to commute to work. And, you know, that can't, that didn't come out the eight hours that you actually work because the eight hours that you work is when you punch the time clock. Okay, so moving forward, I'm going to read this and then we're going to get into it, okay? Because I have a different perspective. I have worked in the, um, I've worked in, in corporate America. I've worked in regular service sector jobs and I have been self-employed. So I've worked across the board, okay? Um, and, and we're going to talk about this. And I urge you to tune in because this will be a very, very, very important live, okay? This live is going to be very important. I suggest you start sharing it right now before I even get into it. Start sharing it because this will be a very, very important live, okay? All right. I need insight, I've been with this guy eight years, married almost four. I feel like he is lazy. He works 40 hours a week, off three days. During those days, he won't do anything that needs to be done. He sits around and says that he is tired. Meanwhile, I have been working 72 to 84 hours a week since September, with only one day off every 14. I still come home, I cook, and do my duties as a mother and wife. He has no drive. He can get overtime, but he says that he's sick of those people the four days that he's there. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. And I'm circling this because I wanna make sure I mark off where I stop. Okay, this is very important. I don't know what she do for a living. I don't know what he does for a living, okay? But this is my philosophy. A lot of us tend to wanna live above our means. And this is the truth. A lot of us, we stretch each other thin because of materialistic things that we want. We want to drive a car, the newest car, within that year, a lot of us, which means car notes, which means insurance. We want the biggest house. And then we, we, when we get the biggest house, we want the nicest furniture. We want the best this. We want the best that. And let me tell you something. I will be the first to tell you, 
I like nice things. I will be the first to tell you that I like nice things. But what I also will tell you is a lot of times we have to save for those nice things because I don't like a lot of debt. I don't. And what you have to understand is a lot of us, we started watching these Real Housewives. We started watching all of this reality television and all of this stuff. And we saw how these people were living. And we was like, you mean to tell me black folks living like this? And I'm over here in a house that look like this? And you mean to tell me they got black folks that's living in houses like that? That's what I want. So now you ready to trade in your house for this $350,000, $400,000 house. And now somebody got to live at the job to be able to pay for it. The one thing that stuck out to me about everything that was said was she talked about how many hours that she worked. And she talked about how many hours that he worked. Okay. I don't know if she's working 72 to 84 hours a week because she's uh, signing up for the overtime. I don't know if it's mandatory overtime. I don't know. But this is what I do know. If I'm working 72 to 84 hours a week, that means that I have to have the sense enough to know that I have to hire help. I need to hire a cleaning service. I need to hire somebody that's going to deliver some food. I don't care if it's DoorDash. I don't care if I have to get with a local caterer or somebody like Joanne. Because I've even done this where you pay this person to prepare a meal for your family and you picking up pans of food. But I'm pretty sure that you can get with a person that caters that delivers food to certain clients throughout the week. But somebody got to have some sense because... If I'm working 72 to 84 hours a week, there's no way I have time to do household chores and to be able to cook and to be able to be available to my family. I can't work this amount of hours and come here and be a domestic too. See, when I read this, what this woman was saying, all I read was frustration. And, and the thing is, her frustration is because I'm doing all of this and you over here doing the standard, which is your 40 hours a week. You doing the standard, which is your 40 hours a week. No extra. No extra housework. No, no extra nothing. But this is the thing. We don't know what he go through at his job them 40 hours a week. I don't know what she go through on her job. The 72 to 84 hours a week that she worked. I don't even understand how she working them amount of hours. I don't understand why would she accept the job working those amount of hours because your family comes first. I'm just calling it the way I see it. I understand we got COVID right now. I understand that a lot of places are expecting mandatory overtime and all of this kind of stuff like this. But I'm reading this woman say, I, I work... One day off every 14 days. You got to hire some help. And that's just the bottom line. But this is what I want to, I wanted to bring this to your attention. A lot of times we have husbands that go to jobs and we don't necessarily know what they endure on those jobs to be able to bring an income to their household. When Spencer was working for a company, I'm not going to say the name of the company, but he was working for a very well-known Fortune 500 company. And when he got the job, we were so excited that he was able to get this job. We was like, oh, yes, you got a good job. But just because our men are not going to work and getting spit on and, and uh, getting called derogatory terms to their face does not mean that they're going to those jobs and being treated like human beings. You got to understand that some of y'all men are at these jobs because these jobs got to have a certain amount of minorities there. So when they put them on these jobs, they have to have them there. So that does not mean that you're getting the best treatment when you are there. 
it was so many days that my husband would go to these different, you know, he worked for the job and then you have to go to these different job sites. For one, the, the company itself is going to send you on the worst jobs because of who you are. Do you think they're going to send you to the plus shit where you can lay out and not have to do much? No, they're going to send you to that one that you got to bust your ass and be there all day, all night doing strenuous work because they don't want to send Billy Joe over there. They're going to send your ass over there. And I would have to literally just really be there for my husband mentally for, for, for support because he will go on these jobs and be treated so poorly, blatant disrespect, blatant racism in your face. I remember him calling me and telling me how they were all in the break room. And that the, the, the man going to look at him and talk about, Spencer, you don't think it's time for you to start getting back? And Spencer told him, we all came up in here at the same time. When y'all move, I move. But then when you start talking up for yourself because you are a man and you want to be treated as such, do you think that help your situation at the job or do you think it make it worse at the job? But can you live with yourself going to a job being disrespected on a regular everyday basis? So the thing is, this man is going to work 40 hours a week. We don't know what he enduring, but my thing is, God damn, it must be bad if he don't even want to go back and work uh, the no time during this three days. And who are we to try to send you back to do more? Because ma'am, I'm reading this, but if you working 80 hours a week, that means that you working overtime. He working 40 hours a week. You want him to work overtime too? Who the hell going to be there taking care of the house if everybody at work all day long? This is how your children end up getting raised by the streets because nobody is at home. How much money do you need to come into the household if he working 40 hours a week and you working between 72 and 84 hours a week? How much money do you need, ma'am? I just want to know. Because sometimes we really live way above our means. And then you send this to a person like me and you feel like because I'm a woman like you that I'm supposed to understand. I just want to understand what type of debt are you in that not only do you have to work 40 hours overtime a week, but you expecting this man to go and put, put in his hours of overtime too. What is it that you're trying to do? Other than work both of yourselves into an early grave. But a lot of women don't want to hear this. And the reason why is because some women really enjoy their husbands being gone 40 to 80 hours a week. Because they don't really want to be bothered with them. And when they're there, they don't want them to have to do shit but go to sleep anyway. Because they, they in marriages for all type of other reasons. Not necessarily because they're trying to build a legacy or build a family. How much help raising children can a husband help you if he always at work? How much time is he actually able to spend with his family and pour into your household if he always at work? If you always at work and you work in two full-time jobs, how much time can you pour into your family? Or do somebody have to take a step back and say, whether we need to cut the fat in our budget. Because this ain't going to work with both of us being gone all the time. And we not able to spend time with one another. And then we wonder how you end up with a work husband. How he end up with a work wife. Because that's where the fuck you at all day every day. That's how you got a work husband. That's how he got a work wife. Because that's where you live at. That's where you're spending your time at. Write this down. If you are having to work all of these hours because you are in so much debt over your head, I need you to order this book called Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey. Yeah. 
I need you to order this book called Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey. About 14, Madison is 12. So I'm going to say about 14 years ago, I purchased the book Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey. Spencer and I had decided that we wanted to purchase a home. We did not have any financial literacy. We did not have anybody to teach us how to do anything. But I was going to school and I would listen to what's called talk radio because the thing is, I, some people listen to the radio with music. I listen to what's considered talk radio. Still to this day, I listen to talk radio. I listen to podcasts. I listen to perspectives. And Dave Ramsey had a show that used to come on talk radio every day. And I was like, you know what? This man is on to something. And I could really learn a lot. And I found out that he had a book and the book was called Financial Peace. Financial Peace teaches you how to take all of your bills in your household. And it teaches you how to eliminate debt. That way you're able to go to work and enjoy your family off of 40 hours a week. Not off of 72 to 84 hours a week. It teaches you how to live within your, your income, your budget. It teaches you how to, to be able to eliminate debt. It teaches you how to be able to save to go out there and make purchases. See, I learned I don't want a car note. Because a car note is, uh, uh, is depreciating. Why do I want to pay interest on something that is depreciating? But a lot of times we go out there and get car notes because we cannot afford to go buy a cash car. But this book, Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey, will teach you different methods to be able to save. And not only that, it teaches your children different methods to be able to save. My children very seldom spend money. They get money, they able, they understand the importance of saving. I'm not saying that I have no debt, but the thing is the debt that I have is be before I was able to get on this program. And if I had known then what I know now, I would not have student loans because that's my debt. That's the only debt I have. You can't expect people to get out there and work every day and bust their ass because you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. I said I did not know what I wanted to name this video. But what I know is, I told Spencer, I'm working 40 hours a week. This is when we was in the regular workforce before we became self-employed. I'm working 40 hours a week. You working 40 hours a week. We not doing no overtime unless it's something like when they had him on call he had to be on call, but we not signed up for no additional overtime. And if we can't make it work off of my 40 hours and your 40 hours, then we just don't need it. And that's the truth. If you working full time, he working full time, that shit's supposed to work between what y'all able to bring in. If you got a lifestyle that is exceeding that, you are living above your means. The name of the book is Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey. There's nothing wrong with liking nice things. There's nothing wrong with wanting nice things. But there's nothing wrong with saving for the things that you want. And if you're going to have, create, if you're going to create a passive income, passive incomes allows you to make money without having to go put in all those hours. I'm going to say it again. Passive income allows you to be able to make money without putting in all those hours. If you need a passive income, there are a lot of different passive incomes. You could do bookkeeping for people. You could do taxes for people. These are seasonal income. So even if you had a job and your passive income is doing taxes, this is only so many months out the year you're doing this. This is not something you're doing all year long. So your family understand in January through April, she going to be doing them taxes. So this is the plan. 
Husband, step, I'm stepping up and I'm doing this, 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 that, the other. Children stepping up doing this, 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 that, the other. Because your family got a plan in place. But to answer this woman's question, I don't feel like your husband is lazy if he getting up and he putting in 40 hours a week. And if there anything that if there's anything that needs to be done, you working an additional 40 hours, you need to cover some of these expenses. Right now, we ain't got no grass to cut. You, you sent this to me in February. So I'm thinking about what's going on in February. You saying he lazy. Ain't no grass to cut right now. Like, my thing is, you're saying he's lazy because he won't pick up overtime. And it just seems like you're one of those people because you out there working overtime, you expecting him to work overtime too. I actually met this lady, y'all. She is like a jack of all trades. She work a job 40 hours a week. She do all kind of crafting, t-shirts, flyers, mm -hmm. all of this yeah. kind of stuff. This lady have about 20 businesses. I kid you not. About 20 of them. And then you constantly saying how you can't find no man on your level. You can't find no man that hustle like you hustle. Sweetheart, everybody don't want to spend every waking moment they are woke working. Stop saying that shit about I can't find nobody to match my hustle. If you want to hustle and you want to spend every hour that you woke working, let that be for you. But you can't put that off on nobody else because they don't want to live like that. I don't want to spend every moment that I'm woke working. I enjoy and I enjoy spending time with my family. I enjoy spending time with my husband. I enjoy spending time with my children. I enjoy going places and doing stuff. I don't want to spend every moment that I'm woke working. That is not enjoying life. So you cannot get upset talking about, oh, I can't find nobody to hustle the way I hustle. Got to have balance. You got to have balance in your life. Lastly, I put a poll up in the group. And the poll is, do you prefer to communicate via text? Or do you prefer to communicate face to face? Do not add any other options. This poll is for a reason. I, I didn't ask you about both. I need you to tell me which one do you prefer. It's a preference. And that's why it's so hard to teach women. Because there's always somebody that want to make it subjective. Oh, well, it depends on this. No, it does not depend. Are you a person that communicates via face-to-face -face better? Or do you communicate via text better? End of story. I didn't ask about both. I just need to know which one works better for you. Because it's a lesson attached to it. That's why I asked the question. That's why the poll is up there. Do not alter the poll with both. I'm going to erase it every time I see both. It's simple. Do you prefer communicating face to face? Or do you prefer communicating via text? Which one are you better at? Face to face or text? It just let that's all I need to know. Because what I'm noticing, I'm doing, I'm looking at the poll, but what I'm noticing, older generation, middle aged women like myself, we are more face to face. Younger generation, kids around, young ladies around, I don't like to say kids, but young ladies around the same age as my daughter, who is 21, prefer text. But we're going to get into it. The poll is there for a reason. You know I'm not asking a question if it's not a lesson that's going to be attached to it. So, to answer your question, ma'am, I don't feel like your husband is lazy. I feel like you need to try a little tenderness. And during those three days that he's off, let him enjoy his three days off. I really think that you upset that he got three days off and you only get one every 14 days. And if that is the case and your job is flexible and they will allow you to work 40 hours a week, you tell them they can have them other hours and drop down to 40. That way you can, you can spend time with your husband. You can spend time with your family. And you won't have to be around here with a chicken with his head cut off working 72 to 84 hours a week 
cooking and being a mother and a wife. That is too much on one person. Too much. The problem is not your husband. It's not the kids. It's not you being a wife. The problem is you're spending too much of your time at your job. I don't know if you've been watching the internet, but Cardi B has been talking about the honey. And she posted the male and the female honey. Now, y'all already know what happens is when the celebrities start talking about the honey and start talking about products, they make the product go viral. And then all of a sudden, everybody all over the country start looking for the product. The PPG store is fully stocked right now. Right now, because the store is closed, we are running a sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Okay? I had somebody say, well, I'm a, I'm a lesbian. I'm married to a woman. Can I get two women? No, ma'am. You cannot get two women, honey. It's because February the 1st, I ran a sale with the women, honey. Buy one, get one free. The way you got two of these. Now it's time for me to be able to do it with the male and the female. Everybody got to get a turn. So right now it's buy one, get one free, male and female honey, okay? If you're looking on the website, it's under featured items. But the link is in the group. The link is um, on my Instagram. So if you see my Instagram down below, if you click in the bio, the link is in the bio for the buy one, get one free honey. If you go into the website, it's right there at the bottom, www.dppgstore.com. Go to featured items, you'll see the buy one, get one free, honey. If you search honey, you'll see the buy one, get one free, honey. Make sure you're clicking on the correct option, okay? If this live blessed you, make sure you send a tip to my cash app, dollar sign PPG store. You all be blessed. You all be safe. You all stay warm.